एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम तो वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी आई डॉक्टर नीलम विल कंटिन्यू विद द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो विच इज ऑन द मेथड ऑफ वेरिएशन ऑफ पैरामीटर सो वी विल सॉल्व वन एग्जाम्पल टू शो द हाउ टू राइट डाउन द पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल ऑफ अ लीनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ सेकेंड ऑर्डर सो विल कंटिन्यू विद द सेम एग्जाम्पल विच वी हैव टेकन इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो हाउ टू राइट डाउन द पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल and we have learned that there are two uh, uh, restriction on uh, linear differential equation to find out particular integral first is that this is the method to write down only particular integral not the complementary function second prerequisite is that complementary function must be known and the linear differential equation will should be of second order we have started with one equation in the previous part of the video and we have written the complementary function of that differential equation so we'll continue with that differential equation to write down the particular integral of the differential equation for more details you can refer to the book from s chand publishing details of which is given on this side and link is given in the description box so if we come back to this Equation. So uh, the di given differential equation was y double dash minus y is equals to sec of x, and we have learned that uh, the differential, the uh, complementary function will be written corresponding to the homogeneous part of this, for which the complementary function had been written like this one. This will be called as y one x, and this will be called as y two x. So first of all, we need to find out the Ronskin of this. so ronskin decide whether they are uh, linearly independent or not and since the roots were real and distinct so there is a guarantee to get the linearly independent solution that is y1 and y2 will be linearly independent now so y1 uh, w was ronskin was y1 y2 y1 dash y2 dash here y1 is e raised to the power x so therefore it will be written as e raised to the power x y2 is e raised to the power minus x so e raised to the power minus x De derivative of y with respect to x so it is e raised to the power x and derivative of y2 with respect to x so it is minus e raised to the power minus x so if we take the determinant of this so it becomes minus of 1 and then minus of 1 so it becomes minus of 2 so we can see that ronskin is not zero that means we we already knew that if the roots were real and distinct then the y1 y2 have to be linearly independent so we need to apply the formula for write down the ypx so ypx can be written as y1 was e raised to the power x so minus e raised to the power x then y2 that is e raised to the power minus x R x that is sec x divided by W that is minus two and d x. Similarly, the second part of the differential the uh, solution will be written. So it is y two x that is e raised to the power minus x. Then integration y one x that is e raised to the power x right hand side R x so which is given as sec of x here and then divided by the Ronskin which is minus two d x. so we can uh, solve this integration remember this is outside of the integration and this is also outside of the integration so integration has to take place for this one so yp can be written as this 2 can be taken out because it is a constant so it becomes e raised to the power x by 2 integration e raised to the power minus x sec x dx Minus e raised to the power x by minus x by two integration the rest of the portion. So it is e raised to the power x sec x dx. So this becomes your particular integral. Now the only trouble here is that sometimes the integration the integrand becomes too complicated to integrate. So that is the only drawback of the method of variation of parameter. Otherwise, it is very very useful, very uh, you know convenient to use if the integrand is 
easy to integrate. Now in this situation we see that it is not quite easy to integrate while if I make little changes in the given differential equation then immediately this the entire solution will be changed. So if I change the differential equation as if we take the differential equation as y double dash plus y is equals to sec o x only. So for this the characteristic polynomial can be written like this. So lambda becomes plus minus iota. So we, we come to the case 3 of complementary function. So where the uh, roots are complex conjugate. So for which the y c x can be written as c1 cos x plus c2 sin x because there is no real part in this complex conjugate. Therefore, Ronskin can be written as, so this is our y1 and this is, this is our y2. So Ronskin can be written quite easily. So it is cos x sin x and here it is minus sin x because derivative of cos x and derivative of sin x is cos x. So it is cos square x plus sin square x. So this comes out to be 1 and therefore yp will be written as ypx will be written as minus of y1x. So minus of cos x y2x that is sin x then rx, rx was sec x and divided by w that is Ronskin that is that comes out to be 1. So it is dx plus y2x which is sin x then integration y1x which is cos x and this is sec x divided by 1 dx and we can observe that it becomes very easy integration. So it becomes minus cos x cos x integration of sin x sec x dx and plus sin x integration 1 dot dx. So we can easily integrate this. So it, it becomes minus cos x ln sec x ln cos x plus x sin x. So if the integration is convenient to handle with, this is the most convenient method to find out the particular integral for any linear differential equation of second order with constant coefficients. So that's how we can use method of variation of parameter for a linear differential equation of second order with constant coefficients. Now, sometimes the differential equation, uh, differential equations are given in this form so that the complementary function and particular integral, they can be, these method can be used directly. Sometimes the equations are reducible to these forms. So such an equation, uh, we will study one case here, which will be called as Cauchy-Euler equation. So Cauchy-Euler equation says that, Cauchy-Euler equation, so this is, this can be uh, named as a linear differential equation which is reducible to linear differential equation with constant coefficients. Since we are considering only second order differential equation, so therefore it can be seen as a naught x square y double dash plus a1 x y dash plus a2 y and is equals to let us say rx. So if, if this is the given differential equation, so we can see here that the coefficients are not constant. So they have become x square and x. And we must remember that a equation will be called in Cauchy-Euler equation form if strictly it is given in this form. That is x ray, uh, the power of x should be equal to the order of the derivative in that particular term. That is in this term it is the derivative is of two order therefore the power of x is two. In this term the power uh, the order of the derivative is one therefore the power of x is one and here there is no x. So in such a case we will replace this uh, uh, independent variable with another independent variable by some substitution. So we'll make the substitution that let x is equals to e raised to the power t. Therefore here y dash means y dash was dy by dx. So then we need to apply the chain rule to change this independent variable from x to t because we are making the substitution for independent variable. Therefore this will comes out to be dy by dt and dt by dx. So which can be 
seen that. dt by dx we will find out from here. So then it will be, uh, it can be seen that it comes out to be e raised to the power t dy by dx is equals to dy by dt which can be, uh, if we replace it further e raised to the power t with x, so it becomes x dy by dx is equals to dy by dt. If we represent dy by dt by dy, that is the operator capital D as d by dt, then if we continue in the same way, then uh, x is square d square y by dx is square, we will be able to find out as d into d minus 1 y. So, we can see that here also there is no uh, independent variable are there in multiplication, here also no independent variable are there in multiplication. So, we need to substitute this substitution, this derivative and this derivative in the given differential equation. So, we will if we substitute that, so it becomes a naught d into d minus 1 y plus a 1 d y plus a 2 y is equals to r x. You can see that this differential equation becomes linear differential equation of second order with constant coefficients. It is non-homogeneous because right hand side is not 0. If right hand side is 0, it will be called as homogeneous differential equation. So for this, the general solution can be written quite easily because we already know the technique to write down the complementary function for a linear differential equation of second order with constant coefficient. and then we know the technique to write down the particular integral for the linear differential equation of second order for which uh, uh, complementary function is already known. So, this, uh, this becomes the Cauchy-Euler equation which can be simplified further. It will be written as a naught d square minus dy plus a1 dy plus a2y is equals to rx. So, it is evident that no uh, this a0, a1 of course they are constant, they cannot be functions of x. This we have already specified that a0, a1, a2, whenever they will be functions of x, they must be represented by a0x, a1x or a2x. So, if they are represented as only a0, a1, a2, they must be considered as the constant. So, this is a Cauchy-Euler equation which can be uh, written in a reducible form for linear differential equation of second order with constant coefficients and the general solution of which can be written using complementary function technique and then particular integral can be written as by method of variation of parameter. So today we have discussed how to find out particular integral using method of variation of parameter and then we have applied that on one example. And we have seen that, that the only drawback of this method is that sometimes the integration becomes very complicated to handle. If the integration is, uh, integrand is easy to handle for integration, then this is the most convenient method. Then we have studied Cauchy-Euler equation, which are the equations they, which can be reduced to some, uh, uh, this linear differential equation of second order with constant coefficients. So that's all for today. So today uh, all the solution part has been written. So for more details on the methods, you can refer to the book from Exchange Publishing, details of which are given in this portion and link is given in the description box. I am sure you must have liked the video because we have studied a very complicated method in a very simplified way. So please do like, share and subscribe and press the notification bell for the notification of upcoming videos. Thank you very much. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.